Hey y'all, I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. This is Mad Dog, my, uh, what was my bug out vehicle slash farm truck, old 12 valve Cummins. It's a cool truck that has been around about as long as this channel and has been uh, uh, a loyal and handy tool here. Uh, people ask me all the time about bug out vehicles, what they should pick, what they should look for, yada, 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 yada. And I'm actually not here to answer those questions today. Uh, what I am here to talk about is uh, no matter which bug out vehicle you pick, okay, this is what you need to do with it. Hey, I'm Jake. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. This is a grassroots channel, which means I say exactly what I want and exactly when I want to, unlike probably 95% of other YouTube channels. I do still have to make money, however, and I do that through advertising my businesses primarily. Exodus Knife and Tool for Made in America premium uh, knives, and Beach and Tactical, where I custom make to order rifle slings that I designed in Afghanistan. I do have other ways that the channel can be supported, like Patreon, which is amazingly helpful, and through gen generic affiliate links where you can buy a wide variety of stuff like PSA and Brownells. No matter what you do, any help is appreciated, especially likes, shares, and comments. So stick around and let's get you right back to the content. Use your stuff, all right? So uh, I have been wanting to take this old girl to the mud drags for a really long time. Uh, the truck is about to get an all new pretty body and bed or flatbed. Uh, but um, you have to use your stuff. So if you own a bug out vehicle, you need to know a little bit about vehicles and you need to know a little bit about your specific vehicle. You need to use your stuff. If it's a bug out vehicle with off-road capability, take it out and off-road it. People don't have time to use their stuff. They just want to buy stuff. And it doesn't matter if you have the best bug out vehicle, off-road vehicle on the planet. If you don't know how to use it, you're gonna get yourself killed, all right? In an emergency. If you're not in an emergency, you're just gonna get yourself stuck. And, uh, and if you do something silly, you might end up destroying your vehicle. Kind of like I did. So I took the truck for mud drags. I did it for fun, but it was still ended up being a very good learning experience. My first run, I uh, dropped in third gear. Felt like in the first hundred feet, I did not have enough wheel speed. And I also didn't know if I had enough time uh, to shift into fourth and really do that well. So I knew what I, I did what I knew I shouldn't do. I told myself I wasn't going to do it. And then for some reason I did it. I dropped this truck in fourth gear and I thought that if it was, wasn't gonna grab that I'd know right away, but I launched halfway decently. It felt kind of good until about halfway down the course. And then I started smelling my clutch. I absolutely 100% destroyed a thousand dollar clutch south bend stage two clutch in four seconds that is part of what i'm here to tell you is that you need to do that look if you can't afford to wrench on your rig if you can't afford to break your rig whatever else the case may be but you really think that that is what you're going to use in an emergency you need to factor in the cost of breaking it of getting stuck, of going out and learning, okay? Just like anything else, I've got a clutch, Lord willing, I'll swap it here in the next few days. Um, and I will never, ever, ever do that again. It was so stupid. Um, I actually do rely on this truck quite a bit, so I need to be a little smarter when I'm using it in general because right now my wife's car is blown up. And I can't tow it to go get a new motor put in it either. I got the motor sent to where it needs to go, 
and now I can't take the car. Mistakes were made, and it was a silly mistake, and I knew better. I did. I know everybody's going to be telling me, oh, you should have known better. I knew better. All right. But uh, uh, mistakes were made, and I learned a little bit more about the limitations of my rig. Guys, whether you have some simple EMP-proof vehicle or the Gucciest Lexus on the planet, if you intend to have it as a bug out vehicle and you think that that is important for a real emergency it is a tool you have to learn how to use it it's crazy to me you know i paid 30 bucks to go run in this mud drag in the middle of absolute hickville there weren't that many people from the county running I don't know why, uh, as far as I can figure, if you've got mud tires on a rig, go run it down in the county fair and have a good old time. But people aren't wired that way. But guys, they're just knives, guns, vehicles, bags. Everybody wants to buy, 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 buy because it, they, they fulfill this fantasy that they have and it's a lot of fun. Okay? But then using the stuff, really using the stuff, is a lot of work and people don't actually want to do the work side of it but in any emergency kind of situation guys if you've got the nicest tools on the planet but you don't know how to use them if it's a real emergency you're just making yourself a loot drop so i, I want you to consider your bug out ve vehicle uh just like any other tool like a firearm like a knife you got to get out do something with it don't maybe don't go the mud drags maybe do take it out to your local orv park you know Get with a group of guys who know how to wheel and go learn how to wheel. Seriously. Um, and, you know, it would, I would, it would help to understand more about vehicles as well. I don't have any lockers in this yet. But, um, you know, James Yeager was looking at buying a new truck at one point, And he was like, what's one thing that you guys think I should look for? See, you guys, James Yeager knew a lot of things, but he also knew... Uh, when he didn't know something and that's a very 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 rare trait that helped him get to where he eventually got and I said you know you need lockers and um, he asked me why all right your four-wheel drive vehicle your typical four-wheel drive vehicle has an open differential so that it can work properly on the street but a four-wheel drive vehicle is actually a two-wheel drive vehicle unless you have a limited slip differential or lockers of some sort and the two wheels that are going to spin are going to be the two wheels with the least traction, not the most traction, okay? So knowing things like that, understanding things like that, and having some first-hand experience with that uh, is absolutely vital. And you know what? If you've got open differentials, but you well understand the limitations of those open differentials, you can probably outwheel someone that's fully locked but doesn't know what the heck's going on because you know uh, what your open differentials are going to do once you get a tire in the air or get a tire somewhere slick and you can work to avoid those things all right know your gear it's a simple message but it seems to be the message that is the most uncommon let me know what you think in the comments section below i will talk to you there and i hope that you have a blessed day